Lisa Mechanical started out in Vancouver in 2005. They originated from Toronto and the company started in 1979 by Mr. Bruno and Robert Lisi. Bruno was the steam fitter and Robert was a plumber. I've been currently working for Lisi Mechanical now for over 23 years. Uh, I was the one who came out and started Lisi Vancouver and followed by now our manager Joe Butella. Today we're at one of our premier projects downtown in Vancouver and a lot of questions have been asked about Lisi Mechanical and how they were able to be able to do this type of project. Uh, being here in such a short amount of time, and I believe is the people that I surround myself with. If you have the right people, anything can happen, anything's possible. One of the companies that we've really uh, got to know and has really helped us in this particular project was Grunfoss. They came to the table and brought the right type of equipment that would do what we needed required for this job. This is being one of the premier projects in Vancouver um, and the complexity of the systems that are installed in this building. It was very important to identify what were the criteria to select the right product for this application. One of the major criteria was the fact that this product needed to deliver the right flow and head in a very reliable way. We needed a product that would be maintenance free or as least amount of maintenance as possible. We needed a product that could be fit into this tight mechanical room. And so these things played into a major role into us having been a major part of the design process with the consulting engineer and then also working with Lisi Mechanical. So Corey Bailey from, from Lisi Mechanical and Scott Denton from, uh, from Lisi Mechanical as well who have installed this equipment um, and has done a fantastic job. This worked out perfect for what we needed. It was awesome design, um, mostly being that because most of the pipes are in the front here. So if you need to work on the mortar and stuff like that with the inserts that's above, you could pull this easily off and align this stuff later on for future use. Uh, fantastic for that. You're not fiddling with the pipes or taking anything down or trying to do any maneuvering. Mechanical seals. Yeah, the mechanical seal down here, uh, they put a new seal in this thing and it's phenomenal for the performance, the sound, attenuation, nothing of that sort whatsoever. And this uh, delivers over 650 GPM. Um, it's a lot of uh, flow for what we need to do. I like the long radius flange 90s on here. This helps us so we can easily prefab it at a later time and it makes a very quick installation for us on our end. This particular place in here is belongs to the strata. So as you see the space that they allocated for the strata is extremely, extremely small. And in order to get eight pumps, um, and if you want the different style, you wouldn't have the space. So these space savers really came in hand and be able to put it in within this space. Um, one thing we found with these pumps though is to make it a little bit better, quicker installation, we went with a half inch steel plate on the bottom. You can notice it's kind of different color blue and we bolted this to the plate and then used the Viber Sonic um, isolators to help dampen the noise and the sound. But all in all, great installation, great pump. Generally, you're not allowed to put any weight whatsoever on the pump, but not the case with these. Um, you're actually able just to bolt up right from the pump and then support your horizontal piping up in the air and you don't have to worry too much about the weight coming down on the vertical portion, which, which is really a big help. From using this product, the major requirement was the fact that we needed to handle a high flow rate in a very small space. So high flow rate and a space constraint, which is what allowed this particular product to be, to be used. Um, it is also reliability, considering the fact that the design is heavy duty. You can get at maintaining the product without having to, um, to really play around with your pipings and essentially the ease of installation. Yeah, as you can see, we had to pack a ton of equipment into a, a tiny space and without this style of pump, it, it wouldn't it's have been achievable. Awful. A company's only good as its people. You know, if you haven't got the right type of people, you can't really do a good job. So that's why we align ourselves with Grunfoss because they have the right kind of people, the right kind of staff, and the right kind of engineering department to help us um, put together this type of project. There's all different styles of pumps. This one particular style pump pumps up over 300 feet ahead and it does 2,500 gallons per minute and was able to meet our demands. For this particular application, Corey, a different type of product could still have been used. However, we chose to use a, ver a horizontal split case pump due to the fact that uh, it has a double suction design and has a high higher efficiency than a standard base mounted product. Um, in, in addition to that, uh, the maintenance and the serviceability of this product and the reliability of this product is a lot better than a standard end suction pump. Um, hence, 
uh, this was a product of choice in this application, as you mentioned. Yes, what I liked about this particular pump is that the shop drawings were detailed to the very finest point. I was able to uh, pre-manufacture off-site all my fittings and parts like that and bring it to site for a quick install. Um, I was able to manufacture the inertia basis that this sits on and have it pre-done, attached already to the inertia base and flown into the place here at this time and by doing so it saved me many, many man hours.